last week we finished third at Daytona. Today we are going to Iowa and then we have Kentucky Vegas cutoff race, Mid Ohio New Hampshire Auto Club cutoff race championship at Homestead. We are playing Heat 5 on a steering wheel today. Yes, I have a wheel and pedals set up right now. Um, I'm not even sitting at my normal desk or anything. Um, we had to completely move the microphone as well. So, um, but don't don't you guys worry. It's how, how it's set up right now. It's not going to be temporary like this. That's for sure. We will be moving it back. This is just a temporary setup. We're going to have the microphone situation, everything like that settled. So, 37 laps today at Iowa. Let's see what happens. So let's get down to the track for qualifying. Alrighty, boys. We're going to be doing something a little bit different for qualifying. We First to gear. Going to roll off pit road here. And here we are. Word is just coming out that they're possible not even going to release a game okay, this year. The IndyCar game has supposedly been... Um, the IndyCar game has also supposedly been canceled as well as the NASCAR 23 game or whatever we are going to have. Where does this put us? Puts us 26th? 22nd! Okay, this is going to be a little bit weird. I've never played Heat 5 with the wheel before. So, that's kind of why this has happened like this. Comment down below who you think got pulled. If you guessed Martin Truex Jr., you are correct. Pretty good run for actually all, pretty much most of the Gibbs guys. Um, we're all pretty much, I think, in the top. I think most of us have pretty much all of them besides me qualified in the top 20, which is pretty good. Green flag. Got one peeking inside. I did raise up the tightness a little bit. So the car is now tighter than it was before. Man, it feels it feels good. Denny Hamlin to the lead. Ooh, all right. That's nice. Inside, inside. You're all clear up top there. I really have to get used to the wheel. That's clear high, clear high. That's for sure. Gonna get You're used to this wheel. You got room. Especially Especially um all right, clear like on, going man. into the corner and stuff like that. Definitely got to get used to it. Stay low, stay low. So right, far, we are actually doing pretty good right, right now. Good. Clear high, bud. Let's switch into the interior yeah, view. All right, you're clear. It's actually nice going interior view. So we are full lock. Bring it back. Ryan Newman has found himself.
in the lead. Wow, that is bad. Martin Truex Jr. has. Ooh, okay, there it goes. All right, you're clear. There goes our teammate. Oh. All right, clear outside. All this right, car's loose off exit. Ooh. White flag. Next time by. She's getting loose. Off of exit. So what I have not done, I have the G29. What a lot of people tell you to do is take out, I guess there's this little rubber piece in the bottom of the brake pedal, and I have not done that yet. Um, as you guys can probably tell, we are fighting for the lead here. Still there? I'm gonna move him out of the way. Stay high up here. All right, you're clear there. A little banging there. But we get it done and we are winners of stage number one. As the car breaks loose. Martin Trex Jr., let's see, did anybody else do okay all four gibbs cars are in the top 10 which is pretty nice we are not gonna pit here um we're gonna pit probably after stage two is most likely when we will be pitting hopefully the microphone hopefully the audio microphone audio sounds good um I'm trying, you know, obviously we're trying this out. Woo! You guys will be able to be able to be able to hear the wheel obviously jerk and do G29 things and make all of the G29 noises that the G29 makes. Man, this car. Ooh. We get into the wall just a little bit there. Not gonna lie, guys. I am kind of quite interested to see how well this is going to go i'm very interested to see how it works how it's going to work on road courses okay we've found the wall once again and we are loose okay caution has came out we are going to need to pit, that is for sure. Um, let's go into our normal view. Two laps to go in stage two. We're gonna push Cole Custer. Does not, okay, he does not save it. I think we're gonna try. Okay, I guess we're just gonna split the middle here. I was gonna try and help Martin Truex Jr., but it looks like we're gonna just be helping right, Kyle Busch. Actually, I take that back. He was able to save it as we are getting loose. I'm sure you guys can hear the wheel there. Oof. Man, that sucks. All right, boys. 19 laps to go, 24 laps of fuel. Don't think we're gonna need a pit, so obviously we're not going to. 
can we win this race? Um, this will lock us into the round of eight. If we are able to win this race. So far, we are able to roll off throttle. Okay, we are clear. Got a car high now. You got room. Hopefully you guys are all having a great day. My day has been pretty good so far. Um We've been having to obviously um change some things here in the studio. Drop your speed, driver. Which uh, is to accommodate for the steering wheel. Oof, wall. Got the wall again there. Ooh, okay. Did not like how he was right there on us like that. The Yellow's out, back or down. Caution is out yet again. We are again not going to be pitting. Matt De Benedetto, man, it's right, it's man. weird it's seeing Matt De Benedetto in Ooh, the uh, truck Hammer series. Ten laps to go here in Iowa. Kind of keeping her together just a, a bit. A bit twitchy do have to say she is a bit twitchy at times nothing wrong with that though this is, man this car has gotten I kind of have a feeling because it's it's because of the damage that this thing has gotten like really loose Um, NASCAR bring Iowa back at least to the truck and Xfinity schedule. Same thing with Chicago Land. Cole Custer having a oh great run. Yeah, that's gonna definitely hurt the car. That's for sure. This thing just breaks loose so easy. I, I think I should have I should have tightened it up just a little bit more because this thing breaks loose a little too quick. Rookie Cole Custer out in front. As we go around and we hit the wall, we are definitely going to need to pit. This is not looking good for us. As we go NASCAR over time, we're going to readjust the seat here. Because it's playtime. It's playtime. We're going... We got fresh tires. 
got one peeking outside. Cracked the top 20. All right, Where can we flag finish? Flag White flag presented by Apex Gaming at PCs. One to go. We've gotten in the top 10 where we need it to be. Kenseth, move out of the way. Going to move our teammate out of the way as clear well. Clear Final clear time. Cole clear Custer is going to win at Iowa. Man, I was not expecting Cole Custer to get a win here at Iowa. But he got it done at Iowa. That's pretty freaking cool that he was able to get it done here. Good Cole Custer. Nice job. Finished third at Iowa. Two straight weeks of us finishing third place at Iowa. Kentucky is next for the Quaker State 400 presented by Walmart. And we have Vegas. Vegas is a cutoff race. Mid-Ohio, New Hampshire, Auto Club cutoff race championship. There we have five episodes left, guys. And then we will crown a champion. Hopefully we get crowned a champion. That would actually be pretty nice if we are able to do that so just a little bit of breaking news um traction gg kind of just released something about uh um the uh next up and coming game so um i'm gonna go ahead and pull that up for you guys right now <clears throat> so this is regarding the indie car game motorsport games has moved to clarify the upcoming indie car games development stating on an earnings call that while it's currently functional it's been pushed back to meet expectations kind of surprising Fledging driving video game developer Motorsport Games has announced that its official IndyCar game has been pushed back to 2024. Wow. If originally announced in July 2021, the first dedicated PC and console game for the American Open Wheel Championship since Codemasters IndyCar Series 2005 was slated for a 2023 release. This has changed today, 24th March 2023, has an, as announced on the company's full year 2022 earnings call. For our motorsport game, for our IndyCar game, we continue to make strides in our development efforts, said Motorsport Games CEO Dimitri Cosgo during the presentation, but we do not believe that we will be in a satisfactory position to release it to the community this year. The IndyCar community has not had a dedicated game in over a decade and we want to make sure that our IndyCar game is one par with other major racing games out there with enough features to keep IndyCar and other fans excited. Don't really believe Motorsport Games is going to do that. For the content to the decision behind the delay was provided later that in the call by the company which also licenses for dedicated NASCAR 24 Hours of Le Mans and the BTTC BTCC games. I think one point that we really want to make clear that we touched on in our call that is we really took a step back and took a serious look at the quality of products we deliver especially when it comes to a IndyCar product explained Cosgo we want to make sure that standard that the standard IndyCar community is looking for in their product is it surpassed we want to make sure that we exceed their expectations it follows purchase launch of the ill-fated NASCAR 21 ignition which melded existing 
existing physics with the Unreal Engine that resulted in an unfortunate string of technical errors and glitches. Motorsport Games has since announced that it will not make make it will not make further games based on its technology base and instilled instillment the it rest Cartcraft development team to create IndyCar wholly in Unreal. Our track record with the ignition does not show the capability so far, continued Cosgo. Man, this thing goes on for quite a while. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be able to read this whole thing. I will put a link to it though. It pretty much states that we will not be getting the IndyCar game this year, and we won't be getting any new games from Motorsport Games this year. Which absolutely sucks. That is a blow, and in my opinion, I think I think NASCAR should pull their license with with them and uh, go over to Monster Games and IndyCar, not uh, IndyCar, Monster Games and iRacing, and hopefully something comes of that. So that sucks. Kind of breaking news. I know this. I know I just said that it's you know changed today, March twenty. Fourth, that was on Friday. Currently recording this on Friday, um, so I'm gonna go watch the real Radman video that he just posted as well. Um, not looking forward. Alrighty, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Don't forget to leave a like. Comment, subscribe, share the friends if you enjoyed. If you're interested in getting a gaming computer, please click the link in the description below this video. FX gaming PCs, absolutely fantastic computers. And if you guys use code squad SQUAD, you guys can get 10% off of all products. Use that correctly. 10% off of all products using code squad SQUAD. And if you guys liked what Josh Williams did last weekend at Atlanta, be sure to click the link in the description where you can get this t-shirt right here. This is the Park It t-shirt that Josh Williams has made. He's made different appearances on NASCAR Race Hub. Um, Dirty Momilia's Door Bumper Clear. Stacking Pennies with Cordial Joy. And I think a couple other podcasts he has been on in the past like week um, since this incident. But click that link down below. I am going to leave a link for that. Um, it is a limited edition t-shirt. Your boy, of course, did buy one for himself. Peace out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Yee.